Hello YouTube, welcome to Sunday in the shop, and we're still fidgeting with the camera. Uh, we're going to play with that a little bit. I, I know you're all tired of the knife sharpening. I hope you're not. Uh, I've really been enjoying it. I made this and started to make a video on it, okay? But then it started cracking. It's supposed to be silver maple, I'm sure it is. This is just regular maple branch, and it was cut a while back when I mentioned it was cutting trees around my area when I did the mulch, so... By now, it's pretty dry. I've had it really close to the stove, but that's just a natural curve of the branch. I haven't done anything with that yet, but uh, pretty simple to do. I had a half inch drill bit, three eighths and a three eighths, and I chiseled it, made it oval, shaped the handle for it. That's actually one of them thick, real thick, big paint sticks. Has a little paint left on it from spraying or whatever. But then that's Gorilla Glue. Uh, when you mix with water, that Gorilla Glue, and it foams up. It's good stuff for what it is, but the wedge is this way, so it doesn't... If you put it the wedge this way, it split the wood apart. But I see the battery symbols getting low on my camera there. But we've been putting super glue in it. I mean, it's not especially tool. See how big that crack is right there? We've already super glued it once. So, we got that cheap Harbor Freight super glue. And I have stopped cracks with it before, so... Uh, my solution is to take and uh, drill some holes, run a wooden dowel like this way, and then run one that way. You know, whatever way I figure out or on the face, doesn't matter. Run one this way, one that way, quarter inch. Drill it, put the grill and glue in there. I'm sure to make it stronger where you can pound the you know what out of it. But kind of a natural feel there with the curved handle. It's kind of hard to fit it in here. Okay, we'll pause and change our battery. And we'll show you a little experiment we've been doing with our sharpener. We don't want to waste too much time. Up. We've already posted enough videos on it. But it's just an idea I've come up with using sandpaper. So hang in there. We'll be right back. Okay, we might have to zoom in to show you what we're doing. But we're doing some experimenting. This is the flattest stone I have because the other ones are wearing quickly. Believe me, they're, they're cheap. They're getting a dip, dip in them. Uh, this is just some 500 grit wet dry paper. It's not on there real good, see how it's floppy, but I don't know if you can see this in here. We'll zoom in, but you can see the scrape marks. Let's see if we can do this. Let's, let's go ahead and zoom in. We got all day. Well, guys. Okay, see them scratches you get in there? I've been cheating him with my honing stone. Uh, on cheap knives, I've been going like this. This knife's not in here very good. It's a cheap knife. It doesn't. I've been going like this. And making that polish just so it looks all fancy. Can you see that? And we'll put the scratches back in again. You can see the scratches in it. We're going to find a way to do this. I said it's just clipped underneath here. Uh, maybe find some plastic. I have some plex glass. It's not thick enough. Because we don't want it to bow. And just get some contact adhesive and glue the paper on there. You don't even, I won't even have to measure it. I'll just roughly cut the paper glue it and then cut it with a razor blade or something. This I did with the scissors. Uh, one piece I cut with a razor blade laying on a back of my ruler box cutter. But yeah, you can just glue them on there. Like I said, if I had a stone I didn't use or didn't care about, I'd just glue it right to a stone with some adhesive, spray on adhesive or something. But we'll figure out something. I suppose we can back the camera back out. Okay, off to something else. Uh, we beat the sharpener thing to death. We put too many videos up. I did paint these black. The yellow look gaudy. So that's just by spraying the flat black in the lid of the spray can. Make sure there's not a hole in there. When you spray it, it drips out. Find the lid that don't have a hole. Just spray it in there and use your model car brush. Make sure you have some mineral spirits, paint thinner, and clean your brush out. So I do that a lot on small stuff. Just spray some in the lid or on, on the bottom of a tin can. A lot better, huh? This is just cheapy knife. 
just like the one you seen, but it used to be the two dollar knives. See, it was barely in there. It was given to me years ago. Uh, kind of reminds me if you look at a sog, but it's been ground and sharpened so much. It you can tell it's it's just was a work knife. I'd use a file in and sharpen. I just used it in my toolbox for years. So enough of that junky thing. It's like the two dollar knife I think they used to have at Walmart. It's just all plastic. Don't want to do a review on a new one of them, huh? Plastic pocket clip. <laughs> That's a good one. It has never broke. Okay, enough of that. Let's find something else that's more interesting. Okay, we're bored for video content and don't know what to do. It is nice out. It's over 35. Uh, don't trust me if I tell you it's 38, but it's really cloudy and there's a chance of rain and snow uh, coming in. It's actually Friday, to tell you the truth. Saturday we have a chance of snow uh, about probably... 60 to 70 miles away from me. It could be 3 inches. Here it could be almost nothing. We've had them storms before. Oh boy. We're still going to reuse this handle. We're going to put some uh, super glue in here to stop that. And we're just going to clean it up and sand it. It's going to be a work hammer. Like see this gouge in here? I mean, how do you do that? Do you hit it on something sharp? Or do you just take your knife and chop on it because you're mad? Uh... Where that's that bad, we're going to try to saw. Well, we don't even have to saw a slot. Here, get in, get in view there. We're going to make a little wedge and put it in there. Here's what we got out of there. <laughs> I've done it before. When you're poor, you need a hammer. You're, you're going to do anything. A washer. A washer and a nail. Now remember now, this came off an old farm. When you're out there in the middle of nowhere, don't criticize people for doing this stuff. I, I know there's a proper way to fix the tools. When you're out in the middle of nowhere, you got to do something. And who knows what they had to beat on with this. It could have been something that was worth worth more getting done than ruining a hammer. Can you believe that? What does it take? Uh, my longtime subscribers probably remember when Road King sent me uh, those sledgehammer heads. And whatever the hammer, how mushed over it was. If you if you really wanted to see that video, I tried to find it and put and put it in here. Uh, somebody really wanted to really wanted to see that video where I redid it, sledgehammer head. But trust me, it was worse than this. What does it take to do this? How much pounding? I mean, I pounded on stuff when I was a kid, and I ripped stuff apart. I worked for the neighbor. He junked cars. We had hammers where we junked stuff. And it, it took a while to ruin a hammer like just beating stuff apart. So it's warming up. We're getting out the belt sander. We're taking it outside. Or we'll set it over by the doorway. Because we like our stuff to fly away. We'll have a fan behind us. We don't want to breathe that in. Even if you have a dust mask on, it's still getting in your face. Even with goggles, dust gets through the holes in the goggles. You just don't want it on you. You know what it's going to take to try to even that out? We had the idea we don't have enough oxygen our, for our torch. We wanted to take one of these and coat it with brass. You know, get it, get it all in shape, right? And just pile of brass on like eighth of an inch thick and then kind of machine it down, you know, with the belt sander and stuff. So that's a future project. This could be their candidate for it, but I don't know if I get that square. You can't do it on a belt sander all day. You're going to have to take a grinder to it first. You'll find out. When I come back, this will be cleaned up. And look at this. I don't think there's any way I'm going to take my Dremel to that. I don't have any Dremel stones that are that good. I think this top's going to stay this way. See where it's mushed? Unless I grind it off with a grinder. Boy, you hate to do that. You're going to be clear down into here. Of course, it would, might kind of match this, but... We'll see. We'll see what I think when I feel like. Because I don't care. It's going to be a junk paper. It's going to be used for welding and pounding on stuff. It's it's not a good one. I have a good ball peen. So stay tuned. We talked about this too long. Uh, at least we're all visiting here. I know you can't answer me back only in the comments. But uh, my Sunday and shop videos are always long, winded, rambling. And they're not monetized. Just remember, they're commercial free. Okay. Stay tuned. We'll come back. We'll do something with this hammerhead today.
Okay, real quick, we'll show you our progress. We came in to warm up. It's kind of chilly out. We're just using our regular grinder. We got some of that out of there. We kind of went too far, but see how this stone is wore? Shaped. So we use the back flat edge to go against that, sticking it in there. Okay, like this. So we made a few lines out of it. Like I said, it's going to be a work hammer. Because we want, we want to open that hole up. We don't have any Dremel bits left worth anything except diamond ones. But we're just going to use our uh, sanding disc. Ooh, back off focus. You've seen them. I'll have a picture of it. The 36 grit, whatever the sanding. They're not a flapper disc. They're sanding disc. We're going to go out and just freehand this. Uh, we're probably just going to put on our heavy leather glove, hang on to it, or put it back on the handle and flip it around, you know, for safety. And just sand on it until we get it shaped the way it should be, like I said. And this will do whatever. <laughs> we didn't show that before. What's it take to do that to the ball feeding into my hammer? I got to take a picture of that. Stay tuned. Okay, our progress so far. We fired up the wood stove, went outside. We didn't have it open, wide open. That's not safe. But we had it open quite a bit. Come back in, it's 80 degrees. Whew, 35 outside, what a difference. This is what we use. We had our uh, Harbor Freight 4.5 inch grinder clamp the device. Don't do that. That's why I didn't even show it. So that way you don't know how I did it. Using it as a disc sander. So I could do fine tuning like this. Like put this bevel. And then kind of go up there like this. Uh, this is mostly freehanded by taking your pad and say this around, don't take it out. And going like this. You know, freehanded. And then kind of eyeballing it. So I first started it. And then going with the grinder. The top. So, so. Like I said, it was nice. I had that real thin edge on my thing there. Okay. That's just whatever for now now we're going to go to a flapper disc y'all know what flapper discs are so we're going to polish this all up with a flapper disc it's probably just going to end up getting spray painted but we might as well make it look good while we're working on it so stay tuned this is going to be a long video this week i said i was going to wait till spring i know somebody's going to tell me that i said that it's just a work hammer and we won't show the handle today that'll be another day you've all seen me scraping oil handles so stay tuned Let's get this done. I'm going to have a little break and warm up and go right back outside. I said it's about 37 on my thermometer, but it's really cloudy and wet feeling because it's trying to rain or snow. Stay tuned. Okay, we're done. We use like our little diamond Dremel bits. Uh, an emery wheel to polish this. We had to, so we start out with a regular grinder. Uh, those 36 grit sanding disc and then a flapper disc to shape this. Then we took our uh, Dremel. We got a flapper for the Dremel and did it. Uh, we're going to paint so we're not going to worry about any swirls or scratches. We did put the bevel back in there. This was just back and forth. It's somewhat level. I'm going to try to hold it. Look in there. My camera has grid lines on the display. So it's somewhat level. I mean, I don't want to get out the belt sander. So it's going to be painted. So you'll see it maybe next week. Maybe next week I'll show it. It's done. We'll get the handle all done. I said, we're just going to put some Gorilla Glue in there and scuff this all up and sand it down and, and make a little wood wedge. Just put some Gorilla Glue in it. Uh, sand down that right there and fill it full of super glue so it don't splinter. That's it. It's just going to be a work hammer. And we'll probably keep the broken part that direction because I'm sure that's how it broke. There you go. Done. Quite the project though. Especially to get that top fixed. So, thanks for watching. I took a few pictures of it so you see what it was like before and after. So, thanks again for watching and we'll see you all next Sunday.